anytime I think of Dapore, I cannot help but remember the good old days where she used to host best of football with Gordon Dudu or Rume. Now the girl has moved up in the world. For me, people, that is humble beginnings 101 for all of us to learn from. You go, girl. So, Isoke is a romantic comedy movie. It tells a story about a 34 year old single career lady who is caught in choosing between a guy that her mother arranges for her to meet and a white guy that she meets by accident and starts to have affection for. It tells a story about the pressures that women in this part of the world go through when they reach a particular age and they feel they've not got any man or not married or something like that. Now, this movie stars. Now this movie stars Dakore Akonde, Patrick Doe, Tina Umba, who for me keeps getting better and better at her craft. Which every movie I have seen this woman in this year, she has been hitting the ball out of the park. I have to say, I'm concerned a little bit though, that these roles might tend to be stereotyped. But for now, she is doing Hollywood proud. I have to say, thank you very much, Ma. It also stars Joseph Benjamin, who for some reason, Reminds me of Morris Chestnut, not this Morris Chestnut, I mean this Morris Chestnut, the two can play that game, brothers, four brothers, time, Morris Chestnut. And also Mark Reese, he plays the white guy who has affections for his soccer. And I have to say, it, looking at him do his thing, it didn't seem as if this guy was just out there to pick a paycheck, no. He seemed really committed to the role and it was really good to see this in our movie. Now, watching this movie, I have to say, we've not really seen a story like this before on screen. At least, I haven't really seen a story like this on screen. And because most of the time, it's about one ethnic group in Nigeria not wanting to marry from another ethnic group in Nigeria. But here, we have a white guy thrown into the mix. And it tends to, to give us a very interesting watch of how this would develop. And I have to say, it's really relatable. It's very interesting and really good on the eye to watch. The comic relief in this movie, some people are credited that to Funke Akindele. But for me, the comic relief as regards this movie has to come from the guy who plays her brother and the lady who plays Isoken's auntie, the prayer warrior auntie, and the brother who seems to go into any new venture anytime he's on screen. They have limited screen time, but I have to say they were hilarious. They were not trying to be funny. It just came off as being funny. And that's what I love about movies. That have comic relief nobody is really trying to be funny yeah but on the flip side though i have to be honest there seem to be one or two characters who in my opinion i didn't feel needed to be in this movie the same way i felt too that there were one or two scenes that really didn't need to be there the one that comes to mind is that police checkpoint scene that we've all seen in the trailer and i just felt like it, it, it really wasn't necessary. Yeah, maybe the movie makers were trying to give us their opinion of what they think of Nigeria right now, which we have in other scenes in the movie too. But I just felt like it, it just felt shoehorned into the movie and it didn't really do much for the movie. But the biggest thing I didn't like was when they handled the love triangle. Um, I just felt like consciously or unconsciously, the movie makers made us to root for one guy over the other. Now let me explain. You got guy A and you got guy B. And in guy A, without spoiling anything, we see his good sides and we see a little bit of his questionable sides. Not his bad sides, but just his, the sides that will make you feel like, ah, somebody might not be too comfortable with that. But then we get to guy B and we see all of his good sides. We don't see any of his flaws. We don't see any of his questionable sides. And I felt like they should have done more to build that character so we could have a level playing field, in my opinion. But still, it was a good movie. I wanted to give it a 3, but I just remember that I gave these two movies a 3. And for me, Isoke is better than these two. And I would say Isoke will get a 3 and a half. So, have you seen this movie? What do you think about it? Whatever your thoughts, comment below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay blessed. And please, do something good for anybody today. Peace out.